this is really what was happening. Like, let's be honest. Hello peeps, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going out and about in the world, or we did go out and about in the world, into Kuala Lumpur to see all the fun Chinese New Year things that are happening. Actually, in this vlog, we just happened upon this acrobatic lion dance, which was probably the second best acrobatic lion dance we saw while we were doing the Chinese New Year celebration stuff in Kuala Lumpur. So you'll have to subscribe for the first best, which is coming pretty soon down the track. Subscribe for that. This dance, like I said, was so amazingly cool. It almost ruined my Chinese New Year experience with the other just normal lion dances and normal dragon dances. They aren't nearly as good as when you see these people get up on these stands and scare me half to death is really what was happening. Like, let's be honest. I don't do well with people putting themselves at risk and in danger. And so watching these people jump from like little stand to little stand is absolutely insane to me, but so worth it because Chinese New Year in Asia just really made my life this year. Okay, so in this first film scene, you'll see them preparing Mandarin oranges. And I mentioned this before, but Mandarin in Chinese is a very similar word to the word gold in Chinese and so it has a symbolic meaning of gold. So during these performances they will throw out mandarin oranges or you'll see one later on where they roll it to the kids on the ground and it's so cute and the lions actually do it. And then you'll also see them preparing the metal stands and being on top of them and like jiggling them to make sure like they're even on the ground because if the floor is uneven these stands will rock back and forth and so when they're doing the acrobatic stuff it is very necessary that they make sure the stands are even. So we spent probably 30 or more minutes watching them prepare the stands. And so I wanted to include a little bit of that for y'all. But while we were waiting, I walked around and I saw some of the Chinese New Year decor, which was the big lion heads. And then there was dragons up in the ceiling and lanterns and everything. And then all around that, they have all the traditional Chinese dresses and treats that they sell during Chinese New Year. And let me tell you, I think I gained weight during Chinese New Year because we had so many treats, guys. to the show. The first part was a lion dance which they were on the other side of the podium and so I didn't include much of that because it wasn't the best film footage. However, the second part was actually the best part which was them up on the little metal stands and we had a perfect view for that. The acrobatic dancers actually land like right at our feet basically. Let's get to that footage and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>
like I mentioned before, my first acrobatic lion dance that I had ever seen. At this point in the film footage, I was one, still scared for these boys under the costume. Can they even see what they're doing? Like how much practice and time did they put into this? I was like blown away by what was happening. Between all the noise with the drums and then every single motion happening and trying to like follow their movement, my mind was just blown because this was, guys, one of the first things of Chinese New Year that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> of the whole experience of the lion dance, whether it be traditional or the acrobatic, there's like patience and anticipation in what they're doing. The lions will be like super playful and you'll see their eyes blink or the two lions that interact with each other, they will like play with each other and then they'll play with the crowd and so it builds that anticipation. That's part of the show. Also, I edit it out a lot because it gets kind of boring but these guys on the stand, they're really like boys, probably, they're probably teenagers. They are doing so much work that in between each of those moves, they have to like stand there and like get ready for their next move. And so sometimes that gets a little boring, but you have to realize like they're under these huge costumes and not fall off these stands. And so it takes them a little while to get their next movement into motion. But with that you, comes the playfulness and anticipation that builds with the crowd. of the lion dance, they will put out a sign. So that sign is like a well wish for the new year. If anybody can see that reach Chinese, I'm pretty sure it was in Chinese, but if anybody can tell me what it says, comment down below because I would actually love to know. A lot of times I couldn't ever read the signs because they're in Chinese. And as I mentioned earlier, at the end, that's when they will start throwing Mandarin oranges out to the crowd. The crowd will carry red packets with them and give those red packets with money to the lion dance people 
And so that's actually a really cool tradition. The crowd gets so excited for the mandarin oranges. It's like, man, you could just go to the store and buy one of these for like 10 cents, you know? But everybody gets so excited because it's just a fun time and fun tradition. <laughs> stops it just ends and everybody like disperses like the music stops your hearing's just like a little bit worse than it was before you went in because it's so freaking loud there the drum they're still stuck in my head guys the drums are still stuck after the show we went and had yummy food at a food court we had fried kuei tiao which is kind of in my opinion like thai pad siu it has a spiciness but basil flavor with the thicker rice noodles and so I really like the kuei tiao. Then we also had roti with curry and the curry at the end was actually a sweet red curry. It was kind of sweet and spicy, more like sweet chili sauce. 
it is unlike any curry that I've ever had before or after that. It was just an odd kind of like, oh, this is more Asian, I guess, like a sweet chili sauce. Delicious, but just different. After lunch, we went to the grocery store and they were having another lion dance in the grocery store. This was very common during Chinese New Year. Like the whole month, we would just randomly see lion dances all over the place. These lions went throughout the store and like went up and down the aisles and people were following him and the drums were with them. And let me tell you guys, <sighs> Yin complains about how loud I keep the TV now. That's all I have to say. <laughs> you know what I love so much about Chinese New Year? is actually the branding for all the different companies that we have in the US or that are US original companies. I actually didn't show you a lot of it in this video just because I have it in another vlog. I don't want to just film the same things over and over again. Like Kit Kat will have it, uh, Coca-Cola, Carlsberg Beer, which is not a big thing for me. They're just companies that in the US would not really ever have Chinese New Year branding but because they're over here they have Chinese New Year branding and I just think it is so interesting. I don't know why. It's so cool to see the normal things of my life and my childhood become something different in this environment and culture. How cool would it be to have in the U.S. after Christmas another holiday that comes where people decorate and do all these fun things like the dragon dance or a lion dance. I mean, how fun would that be? We get Christmas and then it's like nothing for months. I, you have Valentine's after that, but that's just something. It's not huge. I'm probably the 4th of July after that. So, I mean, you have to wait a substantial amount of time to even get a holiday. And the 4th of July is just one measly little day. They barely give it to you off work. I'm pretty sure there was a company that didn't give it to me. Not bitter or anything. Anyways, it's fun to have a different holiday right after Christmas and put on these elaborate decorations. Like, it's kind of really cool and amazing to get to be around. In Texas that I've seen, we don't really celebrate Chinese New Year. And any place else I've lived in the U.S., we don't really celebrate that. I have actually saw a dragon dance in my hometown of Amarillo, Texas at Crush Wine Bar which I guess it was Chinese New Year and we specifically went there because it was Chinese New Year and my friend was with me. She celebrates Chinese New Year's with her family every year as they are Chinese ancestry. So that's very important to her. So we actually did seek out a dragon dance in Amarillo, Texas one year. That was my first experience even knowing what Chinese New Year was. That was probably 2019 maybe. Also, I think they call it Lunar Year as well as Chinese New Year. I'm not sure exactly the name I'm supposed to be calling it on the internets, but you can let me know in the comments below. <laughs> that would be great. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog today. If you would like, you should subscribe. I would love that. I'm trying to grow my channel. Right now we're at like 230 subscribers. So halfway to my goal that I haven't announced of anybody of 500 subscribers. That is my goal. If you would like to help with that, I would actually love that. Let's go out and make our world 1% better today and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!